हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू इन लर्न विद मिनेन्द्र ऑन माई यूट्यूब चैनल टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द टॉपिक ऑफ इफेक्ट ऑफ रिएक्टिव गैरोस्कोपिक कपल ऑन रोटेटिंग डिस्क दिस इज द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक एज पर द गेट एग्जामिनेशन एज वेल एज आई एस एग्जामिनेशन एंड यूर यूनिवर्सिटी एग्जामिनेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू सो लेट्स डिस्कस द प्रॉब्लम फर्स्ट यूनिफॉर्म डिस्क ऑफ वन फिफ्टी एम एम डायमीटर हैज मास ऑफ फोर के जी इट इज माउंटेड सेंट्रली ऑन द हॉरिजेंटल एक्सेल ऑफ एटी एम एम लेंथ बिटवीन द बेरिंग्स इट स्पिन्स अबाउट एन एक्सेल एट एट हंड्रेड आर पी एम इन काउंटर क्लॉक वाइज डिरेक्शन वेन व्यू फ्रॉम द राइट हैंड साइड बेरिंग द एक्सेल इज मेड टू प्रेसेस अबाउट अ वर्टिकल एक्सिस एट अ फिफ्टी आर पी एम इन एन एंटी क्लॉक वाइज डिरेक्शन वेन व्यू फ्रॉम द टॉप डिटरमाइन द रिजल्ट एंड रिएक्शन एट ईज बेरिंग ड्यू टू मास एंड गैरोस्कोपिक इफेक्ट सो दे आज द रिजल्ट एंड रिएक्शन एट ईज बेरिंग ड्यू टू द मास एंड गैरोस्कोपिक इफेक्ट सो फर्स्ट वी विल डिस्कस वॉट इज द गिवन डेटा सो डायमीटर ऑफ द डिस्क इज गिवन वन फिफ्टी एम एम सो कन्वर्ट इट इन टू द रेडियस ऑफ द डिस्क इज डी बाय टू पॉइंट सेवन और सेवेंटी फाइव एम एम दैट इज नथिंग बट जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सेवन फाइव मीटर मास ऑफ द डिस्क इज गिवन फोर के जी डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द बेरिंग्स दैट इज एल एटी एम एम स्पीड ऑफ द डिस्क सो रोटेशनल स्पीड ऑफ द डिस्क इज एन एट हंड्रेड आर पी एम एंड प्रिसीजनल स्पीड ऑफ दैट इज नथिंग बट एन पी सो फिफ्टी आर पी एम इज गिवन फ्रॉम दैट वी कैन फर्स्ट कैलकुलेट वॉट इज द रिएक्टिव गैरोस्कोपिक कपल सो बिकॉज दिस इज द टास्क टू फाइंड आउट द रिएक्टिव गैरोस्कोपिक कपल देन वील फाइंड आउट वॉट इज द इफेक्ट ऑफ दैट रिएक्टिव गैरोस्कोपिक कपल ऑन ईच बेरिंग साइड्स सो डब्ल्यू इज द रोटेशनल स्पीड टू पाइन बाय सिक्सटी जस्ट पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ एट हंड्रेड एंड कैलकुलेट एटी थ्री पॉइंट सेवेंटी सेवन रेडियंस पर सेकेंड प्रिसीजनल एंगुलर स्पीड टू पाई एन पी बाय सिक्सटी टू पाई इन टू फिफ्टी बाय सिक्सटी फाइव पॉइंट टू थ्री रेडियंस पर सेकेंड सो दिस इज द गिवन डेटा एंड सो दिस इज दी लुक एट हेयर सो दिस इज द एक्चुअल प्रॉब्लम द डिस्क इज गिवन वी विल डिस्कस दिस प्रॉब्लम इन डिटेल सो दिस डिस्क इज गिवन एंड डिस्क इज रोटेटिंग इन एंटी क्लॉक वाइज डिरेक्शन इन दी एक्सेल और इन दी शाफ्ट माउंटेड ऑन दैट एंड द टू बेरिंग्स एट ईच एंड सो एंड यू आर विविंग द डिस्क फ्रॉम द राइट हैंड साइड बेरिंग सो दिस इज द राइट हैंड साइड बेरिंग एंड दियर इट इज द ऑब्जर्वर एंड यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट वॉट इज द रिएक्शन एट अ पॉइंट दिज आर ए एंड एट अ पॉइंट दिज आर बी एंड वॉट इज द इफेक्ट ऑफ द रिएक्टिव गैरोस्कोपिक कपल सो फर्स्ट आई विड लाइक टू टेल यू दैट The disc is rotating in anticlockwise direction. Here it is in anticlockwise direction. So your um, spin vector is moving in this direction. Spin vector is moving in outward direction. So reactive gyroscopic couple vector is look like this way. Okay, this is your reactive gyroscopic couple. And opposite to that of the reactive, here it is the active gyroscopic couple. So there are two uh, ways. This is your reactive, and here it is active. Okay. so what is the effect of that reactive gyroscopic couple this will uh, tends to uh, this will wh what will this cause it will cause this this force will cause or this is the magnitude of c reactive gyroscopic couple this will cause the uh, bearing b on the upper side so bearing b will moves on upper side and the bearing a uh, side will goes to the downwards uh, or we can say the uh, b side is going to be raised and a side is going to be downward so this is the effect so how uh, we are going to find out this effect because of spin vector is moving outward direction here it is my spin vector um, due to the anti clockwise rotation of the disc the spin vector moves outward and uh, your reactive gyroscopic couple is likewise so this is my reactive gyroscopic couple and opposite to the reactive that is nothing but active so we will find out what is that effect okay so let's discuss the solution here after calculating uh, this you have to find out what uh, mass moment of inertia how to find out mass moment of inertia that is i that is mk square or mr square by 2 because disk is given mass of the disk is given the radius of disk is known so just find out the i value and you will get i 0.01125 kg meter square then what is the task to find out gyroscopic couple applied by the disk So C is equal to I into omega into omega p. I value is known. Omega value is known. Omega p value also known. So so you will get the gyroscopic couple in newton meter. So C is equal to four point nine three four seven newton meter. 
so what is that magnitude this is the magnitude and what is the effect let's discuss the effect of that c so here it is the c here it is your a bearing here it is your b bearing on that bearing this shaft is mounted uh, and here it is the disc is mounted so mg is the total weight of the disc is acting downward and you have to find out reaction at point a and reaction at a point b this is the uh, reactive gyroscopic couple already we have find out this is the magnitude and this will act in this direction because see in the figure we have already discussed this will act towards the a this will act towards the a so that's why we have seen here reactive gyroscopic couple direction towards the a okay not towards the b here it is in acting towards the a so the direction of reactive gyroscopic couple is uh, shown in the figure the reactive gyroscopic couple tends to raise the bearing b and lower the bearing a because of these forces acting over here or uh, torque is acting over here so b end will going to be raised and a will going to be downward so this uh, how this look like look at here this is looking like here it is your point b and here it is your point a okay so this is look like a point is going to be downward and b point is going to be up upper side so uh, and next task is to find out bearing reactions how to find out bearing reactions the axle is subjected to a two kinds of forces that is first reactive gyroscopic c and weight of the disc mg that is acting here downward so these two kinds of forces are acting on the axle so look at there so how to find this you have to take the moment about a point b okay if you take the moment about a point b what will will happen look at here i am going to show you again you have to take the um, moment about this point b so r a into 0.08 r a into 0.08 and this is in acting uh, in clockwise direction so uh, we have seen here we have uh, written here uh, r a into 0.08 and that is in acting uh, clockwise direction so that's why we have taken it is a positive sign and next what is uh, next is your mg mg is acting downward self weight of the disc into 0 0.04 taking uh, moment about point b and this is in anti clockwise direction so anti clockwise is uh, we have to take that is a minus uh, okay so minus mg into 0 0.04 okay clockwise we have taken plus anti clockwise you have to take minus and what about c let's see c is acting here likewise okay about point b okay so it is again anti clockwise so anti anti clockwise you have to take you have to take anti clockwise plus okay. sorry uh, you have to take anti clockwise is uh, in minus direction because we have taken a clockwise clockwise is a plus okay so uh, only only two uh, one is ra this is the uh, only one ra is a clockwise uh, here it is anti clockwise mg is also anti clockwise okay anti clockwise you are taken a minus sign uh, to find out okay so after finding this uh, ra into 0 0.08 minus mg into 0 0.04 that is anti clockwise minus c is also anti clockwise just put the values mg uh, 4g 9.81 c value already we have found out c value 4.9347 newton so put there 4.937 Nine three four seven newton and you will get r a 81.3 there is nothing but positive value 81.3 is a positive value and positive force is acting upward side so there we there have we written here upward direction now you have to take a moment because rb is unknown so you have to take a moment about point a and find rb okay first we have to take a moment about point b and find r a then uh, we have to find out the uh, taking the moment about a and find r b so how to take this moment about point a look at here okay uh, this is the uh, force rb rb here it is in here it is in which direction it is acting in anti clockwise direction so rb into 0 0.08 look at here what we have take rb into 0 0.08 anti clockwise here we have taken a plus okay so you have to take clockwise minus okay clockwise minus so mg look at their mg mg into this 0 0.04 and it is a clockwise so you have to take this is in minus because you have taken anti clockwise plus so you will get uh, look here you will get mg into 0 0.04 and that is a clockwise nothing but minus and now you have to look about the c c is acting here this is again which direction this is anti clockwise direction so anti clockwise we have to take 
plus okay so plus c you can take any sign conventions from any sign convention you will get these answers and after putting the values you will get rb as minus 42.06 newton minus sign indicates this is acting in downward direction so your point taking moment about point a and this force is acting in now downward direction okay so minus 42.06 and all about the uh, solutions so you have to remember these figures uh, how the uh, reactive gyroscopic couple is acting there uh, because the spin vector moves outward because it is uh, rotating in anti clockwise direction spin vector moves outward and the reactive gyroscopic couple is uh, is moving towards the point a and active is opposite to that of the reactive so active is moving towards point b and what is the effect effect is going to tends uh, the lower the bearing side a and uh, it's to raise the bearing side b because we have to take the um, direction of uh, reactive gyroscopic couple not active gyroscopic couple and this omega p is a precisional axis about the y axis it is going to be precise okay so it is a very easy problem and uh, here it is a problem statement again i have uploaded here this problem statement uh, or you can refer directly from the first page here it is also a problem statement so this is the way we have solved this problem uh, so this kind of problem is asked in any type of examination so you can you, you you should be ready for that so thank you for watching the my channel if you have not subscribed please do subscribe thank you very much